If you're dirty like your auntie Spetty, then it's bath time, my boo. Time to come clean for your bathtub interview with Auntie Sveti. First we'll suds up, then you tell me what's up. What's up? Wash up, then tell me queer what's up. Hello America, it's me, Svetlana Trantastic. Welcome to our new show, Bath Time with Auntie Sveti. I'm here with my good friend and our first guest ever, Loretta Good Lord Child. Splits well, Loretta. I'm taking a bath with you, Svetlana. The water's just perfect. It is, it is. I, I'm going to get real clean today. I'm so glad I'm in your juices with you. Yes, I'm, I have plenty to spare. I'm so interested in you, and I have so many questions for you. The interest is mutual and the answers are fresh. Okay. You go right ahead. This show is all about you. You're fresh off your win. I and am. Comedy is a drag. I am. Comedy is a drag. Justin Bustle's you, Buckles production. What were your favorite moments and how did it feel to win? Well, that's a great set of questions with one answer because my favorite moment was winning the competition. <laughs> But of course, then that could be spread out across several moments since I won so many times. <laughs> yes. I think it's true because, you know, I did win the first night. And really, honestly, when Valerie asked me to do the competition, I thought she was bringing me in as a filler queen. But when I won that first night, something deep inside of me Ooh. rose up and said... I'm going to win this whole fucking thing. That's awesome. I'm not a very competitive so, so person. Sometimes I was just going to ask you, I'm not, very, I'm not a very competitive person I've never person actually either. been in a competition before. No. But also if you start out like, ah, I'm not even trying to win, then you know, you're like, then there's never any pressure. That's true. Right. I was it changed for you. I was desperately yeah. trying to win yeah. every second for 10 weeks straight. Tonight, you're on Holy Cow, a Tonight. religious variety right. show That's at Crush. Right. And I know that you're an Episcopalian priest. I'm an Episcopal priest. I feel like this show is actually just a showcase for my talent. <laughs> I am going last tonight. Really, the entire show builds up to the culminating moment. I'm going to go deep here. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Lean in for my Diane Sawyer show. Wait. If, there's, if I cry, is there a tissue? No. There's still an apron around the corner. Um, I feel like the queer community, most of us, most of us sadly have had a sad moment around God and, or religion or yes. whatever. Hopefully it's not that way for everybody. Yeah. So how deep does it go for you at this variety show, knowing some of the acts might be irreverent or how what have you, who knows, but how does that, sad does, it does that make you... Like, what is your intent and what message do you want to send and how much does that concern you? Oh, that's a good question. How much does it, cons like, does irreverence yeah, concern like, me in general? Like, what, and like, what's the separation? Like, you're not there to preach to these people, mm -hmm. but you're a person of God. What if I don't save any souls tonight? Am I going to go to hell, no. Loretta? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> this isn't about you, it's about me. I think that, um, no, of course there's a reverence, and I think that that's one of the wonderful things about drag especially, and queer aesthetic especially, is that mm -hmm. the irreverence is there to break down and build up, and especially to like break down a lot of the stuff that's been used as a weapon against people. Laugh at the hurt. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And so I think that's actually a wonderful thing. I think if it can't be torn down, then it's not worth standing up. So I think, I think that what, one of the things that I've appreciated most about drag as a religious person is that a lot of drag begins to, um, it can poke fun at the kind of natural camp that happens mm -hmm. in, in religious culture. And especially, um, you know, camp is there to take down something which is being taken too seriously mm -hmm. and to show the humor in it. And I think that that can help disarm some of the power that's been used as a weapon to hurt people. Yeah. I think that's actually that's actually what I'm in it for. Yeah. The irreverence. For for a reverend, I happen to be very irreverent myself. <laughs> reverend um, child. 
Um, assuming most people, and myself included, don't know a lot about your religion, what's kind of like, uh, like, oh, if I wanted to go to a church, why should I go to yours? But Oh, well, you should go to mine, because if you want to go to a church, you probably want to go to one that's led by a winner. Yeah, and, and one that's not throwing you out well um so i so i'm the assistant priest at saint michael and all angels episcopal church and there are like there are a million reasons why you should go to that church and actually most of them don't have to do with me um, a lot of them have to do with the community which is really passionate about justice for immigration about a third of our community is Spanish-speaking immigrant population, and we've been involved in that work since long before um, the most recent change in presidency. Um, and it's also just a really joyous community. And I and I preach all the time, and I wear these fabulous-looking flowing <laughs> robes that I get to spin around in. And the joy is the joy is just all over the place. And you're open with your congregation about being a drag queen. Well, you know, I'm I've always been open with them about being queer and being in queer relationship. And my mm -hmm. boss is also queer. Um, the drag thing, I've been I've been giving them more and more little pieces. You may recall uh, there was about um, a whole row of people from my church who came to comedy as a drag, and um, and some of the last weeks, and I was actually surprised at how I much they it. enjoyed it. <laughs> Were you? Were you 100% comfortable with them being there? No, I was like 20% <laughs> comfortable with them being there. But it, it was like... Kind of like having your mom there. Yeah, right? like, no, and it was half half of it was me and half of it was the other performers. Well, I just saw her guard and started doing her ASMR routine. And, and I think she pulled out the dildo and started hitting the microphone with it and then mimed milking herself of her semen. That's when I was starting to sink into the floor. But and, they had a wonderful time. It was mostly me. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Ida. Thank you. Thank you, Ida Summer Thank Garden. you, Ida Summer Love Garden. You. We hope that you also someday want to sit in the tub with us, Ida. Um, you talked about being in a queer relationship. I believe you to be a married lady. I am a married lady. <laughs> I am a Mrs. Loretta Goodlord Sadie, Child. Sadie, Sadie, married lady. That I, watch. I should do at least half the interview without my clown nose on. <laughs> So also, that you can see my flawless <laughs> contour. Where else are you going with your drag? What's happening next? For Loretta well, you know, you asked have. me about, so I'm actually, I'm really excited about the intersection between my work as a priest and playing with drag and getting to do more drag. Yeah. Like I said, um, I think that the irreverence that drag brings out and pokes sort of fun at the religious institution is a source of healing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so if my work can sort of be an intersection in that, then I, I feel really grateful, grateful for that. Um, I'm truly interested in coming to your church sometime. It's a pretty, it's a I, pretty irreverent place I itself. couldn't tell you the last time I was excited to be at church. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it won't burn down around you, Svetlana. <laughs> So you were telling me I was gonna go to hell. Can, <laughs> there's no, there's no hope for me. But how can other people not go to hell? What, what can they do to oh, save boy. themselves? And why should they want to go to heaven anyway? The only way out is to support local drag artists and tip them heavily. That's the only way. That is the only way. Spend your money. Did you grow up in the south? I did grow up in the South. That's where my whole shtick is from. My my fam, my mom and my dad live in North Carolina. Yeah. They met at a seminary at a religious institution, and I think that there's there's something about that that actually promotes love. Love, right? Jesus when, is for all of us. When you get it right, you get it right. Yeah. So that's that's honestly where all that came from. Do you want to sing a song together? What song are we gonna sing? I don't know what song we both know. You could just sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what that, right you, know what you know what I've had stuck in my head what? all week? I want to be loved by you, just you, and nobody else but you. What about your husband? <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing to the ducky behind you. Oh. I want to be loved by you alone. Boop, boop, be -doo. I want to be kissed by you, just you. Do you not know the song? And nobody else but you. I wanna be by you alone. Do you already keep going? 
Um, no, I think we can wrap it up. It's <laughs> she's I like, want, she's I like, want you to keep no. Going. Thank you so phone. much for being on the very first episode of it Best Time with Andy Lana, Betty. I am honored. Well, I think we got the dirt on Loretta Good Lord Child, and we're all clean now. So thanks for joining us on Auntie Sveti's Bath Time Fun. Goodbye. Uh, they had an easier time me coming out than I did. Oh wow. Absolutely. Yeah. They kind of. I was. I was, I was dating somebody uh, at 16 in our apartment complex and my parents were completely on to it. And they sat me down at the dinner table one night and they were like, do you have anything you want to talk to us about? And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I don't want no. to talk about it. <laughs> That's the piece. I brought these in case you needed a little hand washing <laughs> anything. I want to be loved. Thank you.